So what's up guys? Today I just wanted to talk about the cost of living here in Vietnam. I am in the city of Da Nang. I am absolutely in love with the city. I'm gonna talk about it in a future video, so I'll break down everything that I love about Da Nang. It's definitely a lot cheaper than Thailand is. I would say about a 30% decrease, but it also depends on your lifestyle. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of ranges, how much I spent personally, but what I think most people are gonna be spending while living here in Vietnam. But overall, the life here in Vietnam is just super chill. There's a lot of good street food everywhere. I spent a little more on my apartment because I wanted a nice apartment space. I've been doing some treatment, which I'm going to get into a little bit later. I've been living a, I guess, I don't know if luxury is the right word. I would say on a scale of one to 10 on the luxury scale, I'm living probably like an eight. So let's start with the big expense, rent. Spending around $550 a month on rent here. And that's not including electricity, which I have to pay. I think the electricity is going to come out to around maybe 50 or $60 if that. I have a buddy who has his own space and he's paying around $300 a month for a spot. I wanted something a little more luxurious and that's why I went with this place and I've been really happy with it so far. It includes a weekly cleaning service and they have the laundry service downstairs and plus the front desk lady is really nice. She's a little cutie, but it's nice having like a concierge service also available. Moving on, let's talk about food. So this is a really big one because your expenses here can vary. I eat a lot on the street because I'm a huge fan of Vietnamese food and if you eat on the street, you can get a banh mi, which is just 20,000. Viet dong, which is around 80 cents. You can get a bowl of pho for around 40,000 dong, which is around a dollar and 40 cents. Most of the street food that you're gonna find at the most is gonna be like 50,000 Viet dong for like chicken and rice and you get two pieces. And I've been really happy eating like that. I think in the beginning, I spent a lot more money on like Korean restaurants and stuff, but I'm very pleasantly surprised with Vietnamese food. The cool thing about the food here is that they're open at all hours of the day, up until nighttime to like two in the morning so you can always find something to eat. I've been working out a lot. I eat around like four to five small meals whenever I'm hungry. If you go to the restaurants, you'll be spending like as low as like four to five dollars. And for like Korean barbecue and stuff, you'll be spending around eight to fifteen dollars. So I wouldn't say the restaurants are too, too expensive. But here in Vietnam, I think street food here has been absolutely amazing. So when you're here, definitely eat the street food. I would say a good budget for food here is around 300, 350 dollars a month. So what is there to do for fun here? Because it's a beach city, you can go to the beach quite a bit beach is free right there are places where you can go where you can park your moto and you have to pay to park the moto but it's only like four thousand viet dong it's like maybe like 15 cents and then you'll have like people watching the motos and everything i love this city because it's like two cities in one you get the beach side where you have a lot of beach activities that you can do but also you have like the city side once you cross the river and that feels like an actual city i love biking around at night actually that's one of my favorite things to do so i can get to know the whole entire city and just explore and that's really really fun for very, very cheap. I also go to a computer cafe where I play video games and it costs like maybe 40 cents an hour. And I'll spend a couple hours a day there just to play video games by myself or with my buddies. You can go to one of the very many pool clubs all around the city and that costs around $3 an hour to play for a table. So once again, super cheap. Or you can just go to like a restaurant or a cafe. That seems to be very, very popular here as well. I've been to the movies a couple times and that costs like two or three dollars for the ticket. And then the popcorn was like four dollars. So that's pretty cheap too. So all in all for like fun activities, I would say that I spend around $50 a month here. So extremely cheap. So let's move on to the moto. The moto I've got for $50 a month. It was like 1,200,000 Viet Dong because my buddy had to hook up with them. So he was able to get me a deal. And and gas for that, it costs like $2.50. I drive around quite a bit. So I would say in a, in a week, I spend maybe five or $6 on gas. But if you don't do too much, you can easily just spend like four or $5 a week on gas. It's, it's very, very cheap here. So I would say a good estimate for this is like $30 a month on gas and $50 a month for the moto. So that comes out to around $80 a month. You can easily do the laundry yourself if your apartment offers it. But for me, I just like paying for it because it's just a better use of time. Laundry for me in the apartment that I'm staying that costs around $7 a week. I think if you go on the street, you can find cheaper, but I just like the convenience of it being done in-house and they deliver it to my door when it's all finished. So I would estimate for laundry, it's around $30 a month. So here you have various options for gyms. I picked one of the more expensive ones because it can get 
pretty hot during the day. If you work out in one of the regular gyms, a lot of them don't have AC. They just have fans everywhere. So I remember I went to a gym, a cheaper gym. And I was doing legs and I was just sweating so much. It wasn't the cleanest. So I was like, you know what? I don't mind investing a little more on the gym. And I picked this one called TA Galaxy. And it's like the highest end gym you can find here. They have a bunch of personal trainers. They have a nice pool. They have kickboxing classes. If you're a guy, if you want to check out some of the most beautiful women at gyms, I would definitely go to the higher end gyms. For this gym, I paid 1,500,000 Viet Dong, which comes out to around $60. But you can find gyms here for a month for around 400,000 Viet Dong, which comes out to around $16. So one of my favorite things that I've found here in Vietnam is shopping. The clothes scene here and fashion here is phenomenal. I like Thai style a lot because Thai style is really like loose clothing, very comfortable, a lot of shorts. But the people here dress really well and there are a bunch of stores just for men. You can find like high quality J Crew level stuff for a third of the price. One of my favorite stores is G-Men. I've been here a couple of times and I bought a bunch of clothes from them already. This can vary depending on what you are looking for and if you wanna shop, but something that I highly recommend when you do here, and I've spent around $130 shopping here in Vietnam. And then the last big expense for me is I've been seeing this acupuncturist, like uh, Eastern medicine doctor. His name is Vanny. I'm a huge fan of him. He's a great guy, he speaks English. He, we do sessions where he'll do like a massage, we'll do cupping, we'll do acupuncture, and he also gives me herbs. This is around $20 a session, plus for every bag of herbs for 10 days, that's also another $20. If you are curious about Eastern medicine, I highly recommend looking into it. Something about Eastern medicine, they try to find like the cause of the issue inside of your body. Whereas a lot of Western medicine, they just try to cover the symptoms, but they don't really go to the root cause. So in total for that, for the month, cost me $150. If we were to total everything up, I've spent $1,390. I've gone to Hoi An and I've gone to Banna Hills. Banna Hills was around $50 to get in, but I'm not going to include that here. In my opinion, both those places are actually a little overrated, but I'll talk about that in a different video. I have a buddy who lives here on $700 a month, but because everything is so cheap here, I haven't been super, super cheap and frugal. I've lived a pretty higher end lifestyle. I think most people when they live in Vietnam, they'll be spending around 1,000 to like 1,200 a month, maybe. And I think in the bigger cities, your rent and some other things may be a little more expensive. But for the most part, I think you can still get by on $1,000 or less here in Vietnam. I highly recommend visiting Vietnam. This country has surprised me so much. I can't wait for all the other videos I'm gonna be making about this country. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.